Hey guys, Digital Asma here, back with another video. Uh, this is Tracy Black, and she's going to say what I've been trying to say um, for a little while now. Digital adoption here, here um, and she's going to focus on um, payments are uh, evolving and ISO 222, uh, the connection there. It's a couple of minutes long, so listen. So my message for today is that payments are evolving faster than ever before. Payments are increasingly frictionless. We tap the card, we wave the phone, and we can autofill our payment details on a website with a single click of a mouse. Consumers can shop online anytime for anything in just about any currency. Is there anything we can't find and pay for online? The internet, coupled with digital payments, have increased reach for online merchants, and now the world is our outlet mall without the parking hassle. A payment is increasingly that invisible thing that happens at the end of a magical experience. A magical experience like curbside grocery pickup, like Uber, like an Amazon Prime delivery. Making a payment used to be a thing, but we don't often think about the payment anymore because we don't need to. These are a few examples of how my payments experiences have changed in my lifetime. Very different experiences from those of my parents. And when I think about my children, they have never known a life without debit, P2P payments, Amazon Prime, Uber Split. They have never, and may never, write a check. I'll say this again. Payments are evolving faster than ever before. Let me tell you why I believe this. A big reason is ISO 2022. This messaging standard allows information about a payment to travel with a payment, what we call data-rich payments. For businesses of all sizes, data-rich payments can support the automation of payment processing and the reduction or even elimination of exceptions. This will increase efficiency and reduce cost. For consumers, I anticipate the introduction of new and enhanced end user experiences, products, and services. Imagine knowing everything about your transaction. Well, that's a bit too much now, isn't it? Everything about your transaction. So no nefarious stuff, right? Mm -hmm. This is what the banks don't like. Um, what's coming down the road, Basel 3, they don't like that. Um, they don't like the new system that's been uh, being rolled out they hate it because they're not going to be able to do half of what um, of what what anything like that you what half of mm, oh, I don't say half or more I don't know how to quantify it I can't I, I, I'll probably say they won't be able to do anything um, nefarious with it but, you know will this usher in um, the era of peace as it as it were um, because they won't be able to fund wars in there in the same way without having accountability, that kind of thing. You know, when she said that, that made that, that pop to me anyway. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there with this this particular, um, with the, this summit, um, quite simply because it's gone over a minute and that, um, well, yeah, a couple of minutes. And as I said, she was gonna talk about ISO 2 and the how, much pay, how payments have, have evolved and the connection with, um, ISO 222 and I have met, I have a video out there with regards to ISO 222 um, and that connection with um, there's Ripple um, and there's quite a few tokens on that uh, list um, well or, or in that video that are compliant with um, di with digital payments coming forward if you like that kind of con this kind of content please like and subscribe here's a list of the um, ISO to compliant uh, cryptocurrencies and they start with Quant and then we have Ripple XRP Stellar XRM Hedera Hashgraph, IOTA, XDC Network, Algorand, Cardano, and Verge, XVG. These are the list of um, ISO 222 compliant tokens uh, people need to pay attention to. These are the ones that have use case at the moment in the market. They are going forward with these particular list, that list of tokens. Um, like I said before it's about utility not um, 
meme coins and all that. Some of those meme coins may come through because they may have value at the end of the day or utility at the end of the day, but I'm not I'm not here for meme coins, I'm here for utility tokens. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, uh, like, subscribe, and take care. Take care of yourselves. And if you're still on holiday, have a great one. I'll speak to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Our food systems are harming the health of people and planet. Food systems contribute to over 30% of greenhouse gas emissions and account for almost one third of the global burden of disease. Transforming food systems is therefore essential by shifting towards healthier, diversified and more plant-based diets. If food systems delivered healthy diets for all, we could save 8 million lives per year. WHO is committed to supporting countries to develop and implement policies to improve diets and fight climate change. I'm therefore very pleased that over 130 countries have signed the COP28 UAE Declaration on Climate and Health. Together, we can protect and promote the health of both people and planet. I thank you. Thank you.